Hi, my name is Sally Lynn McDonald, and I'm here to show you the Gel Press Mono Printing Plate. This versatile tool we're using the 8x10 size today. The Gel Press Plate is a gel. It is not a rigid surface. It's engineered to release the media to be very sensitive and to give you beautiful prints without the use of a press. You can use many, many different media with the Gel Press. Let's start with using an acrylic paint. This is Golden's Open. The first thing you'll notice is that you don't need a lot of paint to get a great impression. To start with, we're going to apply the paint to the surface and then roll it out across the surface to get a smooth, even application. Once we have the application of paint, we can start creating textures, doing mark making, or whatever it is we want to create our art. For this piece, I'll start with some simple marks. I'm going to use a stencil and I'm going to place it over the top of the plate and then moving the brayer over the surface that will remove paint from those areas. At the same time, I can use a texture tool of any kind, whether it be bubble wrap, or in this case, this just has a nice texture to it, to make marks in the gel and remove paint from those areas. Now, lifting off the stencil, I can place that to the side, take my substrate and lay it across the surface. And you notice you don't have to use a baron or any other tool to get a good print. You just rub your hand across the surface and pull the print. And there's our initial print. Now we'll take another piece of paper and get what's called a ghost print. By not applying any new media to the surface, but simply applying our paper, it will lift off, the, the material will release remaining paint or ink that is on the surface and give you another subtle print. And depending on how much media you have applied to the paint or which medium you're using, you'll get a various number, various number of subsequent prints until the plate cleans itself. Now we're going to layer those prints. And what I'm going to do is take another color of paint in a contrasting color. Once again, you don't need a lot. I'm going to apply this across the surface of the plate. And I'm applying it evenly, but you can apply it however you'd like. And then once again, I want to do a little bit of mark making. This time I'm going to take a mark making tool, in this case a wooden stamp, and I'm actually going to press onto the plate and then stamp off the extra paint onto a side piece of paper. This just ensures that I'm getting a fresh removal of media each time. Unlike glass or plexi, the gel press plate is not a slick surface. And now I'm going to apply some masks to the surface just to block off these areas so that when I pull my print, the areas that are masked off will reveal this yellow print beneath. So press and pay maybe a little more attention to where those masked pieces are. But the nice thing is the surface tension of the gel holds the paper, the masks, everything in place so I can take a peek and see how I'm doing. And if I want to pay a little more attention to any detailed area on here, I can reapply the paper very easily to those areas. Okay, so there's our initial print. And this is absolutely stunning. I'm going to go ahead and remove these pieces. And then get a ghost print on top of the other print that I did earlier.
so you can see these delicate, subtle images that you get and every single detail captured. But there is still media on the plate, so let's go ahead and see if we can pull another print. And look at that. Another beautiful print. The gel press keeps giving and giving and giving beautiful prints as long as there is media on the plate. So your mark making never goes to waste and it, the plate cleans itself. And I've shown you several applications where we just used one color, but you can always mix colors on the plate and you can mix different viscosities of paint um, and you know just get really fun and interesting patterns from that. So I'm going to put a couple different colors on the plate. We're going to do a little bit of mark making, but I'm just going to show you how sensitive the plate is and how good it is at revealing details. I want it to be my focal point, so I've placed it down first. Now I'm going to take a simple texture and apply that over the top. If you want to bring in a brush, and do any additional mark making. We can do that as well. And you can use canvas, fabric, it really depends on what medium you've applied. My paper and placing it over the top. Now, has dimension. As you can see with the paper, I used a thin paper so that you could see how much dimension it has, but it's not sharp. So as I press into this paper, I'm doing that on purpose so that I will get a really good impression of that artifact on my print. And as you'll see, when I lift off the print, I have a masked area, but as you can see, the paper is also being held in place. And if I simply remove this artifact out of the way, its ghost print is left on the plate. And now I'm going to bring the print straight back down where it was, and I'll get that ghost print printed within the mask. And look at that beautiful detail. Isn't that gorgeous? And let's see if we can get an actual, another ghost print off of this as well. These are sometimes fun to use just as a starting place for your next print. I don't like to waste a drop of paint or media on my plate. And it's beautiful, absolutely stunning. So another piece that you can start working with to create your next piece of art water, hand sanitizer, baby oil, and the same is true for any media that you use on the plate. As long as it can be cleaned off via those methods, it is safe to use on the gel press plate. So that's the beauty of gel press printing. Simple tools, a variety of media, and the possibilities are endless. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Thank you for watching.